Jimmy here at O'Reilly's and here we have a Ford Transit Mark 8 and it's in limp mode with a block BPF. So it's the Euro 5 I think, 2.2 rear wheel drive. So I'm just going to switch the ignition on. Start it up. We've got the engine light on there. Service now. That's about it. So we'll run a diagnostic scan on it. Let's see what codes we've got. Well, that's loading there. Just have a look at uh, what mileage we're on. 145. This is just taking a little bit of time to uh, load. Here we go. Particle filter soot restriction P2463, P246C, and basically different variations of the same code. So uh, we'll try and get this sorted. So I'm just going to press a quick erase. those and we're gonna go back go into our hot functions and we'll go to the DPF and what I'm gonna look for here is the fuel vaporizer and I'm gonna prime that up just to test it it's a it's a lot of hassle to get to remove the vaporizer from these and I'll show you what that is in a minute if you're not too sure it's a fuel vaporizer on the DPF. It's uh, basically a fuel injector that's bolted in, but they, they seize on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to prime it just to see if, if it's working. And how I'm going to tell that is by priming it up, and then I'm going to start the vehicle. And if it has worked, I'll see a little bit of smoke coming out of the exhaust where the uh, fuel is burning off. So we're going to use 0 0.5 litres of fuel. Switch the ignition on. And while that's, while that's pumping, I'm going to get out and uh, have, a, have a look to see, listen underneath to see if we can hear, hear the uh, pump working or the uh, injector. So here you can hear the fuel pump, and if you put your fingers on it, we can hear it pulsing, and feel it pulsing. And it's going to be injecting fuel up here to the vaporizer there. Now if we start the vehicle up, let's have a look where we are here. So we've got the DPF just about here, and then the exhaust goes back down along the rear end here. So here we are just under the, the driver's side wheel arch and you can see the, the uh, vaporizer vis visible there. Okay now that's finished priming up the fuel I'm going to start the vehicle and see if we're getting any smoke coming out of the exhaust. That will give us a good idea if the vaporizer is working. So I'm not sure if you can see that on camera there but you can see the, the grey smoke from the vaporizer. So the vaporizer is working. That's a good uh, that's a good sign. So when we're accelerating there, it's a very faint grey smoke that comes out. It's not not very very visible on the camera, but we can see that the uh, vaporizer is working. So now we're going to switch it off. That's that test done. We're going to remove the air in inlet holes here. Now we've removed the inlet pipe. I'm just going to connect our smoke machine here. This is the next test we're doing. I've got this smoke machine here. So what we're going to do is switch it on. And that will push smoke through the entire engine. And if we've got any leaks anywhere, uh, if you've got any sort of leaks, 
is going to give you uh, DPF problems. So if you've got boost leaks, turbo leaks, so I'm just going to get the smoke running. Put that in there, and we're going to just make sure that we haven't got any leaks because if there's any leaks, any air leaks, if we've got smoke leaking from anywhere now, then that will cause reoccurring problems with the DPF. So we just need to make sure that there's no issues like that before we carry on with the clean. Okay, it's been a few minutes and we're happy with that. So we'll uh, release the pressure there. And we've got no leaks. Okay, so you can see we've done three different tests there. Test number one is a diagnostic scan just to make sure that it's not coming up with any faults for glow plugs, EGR valves, boost leaks, uh, under boost issues or anything like that. Second one is the vaporizer. We know the vaporizer is working for the fuel and we've done the smoke test, which is number three. Uh, just on the DPF pressure sensor, we'll remove the holes here. We want to connect our fluid dispenser onto this tube, which is going to fill the DPF with our cleaning fluid. Just connect our holes onto there. Now we can get our little dispenser bottle here and just prime it up, build up the pressure for it. Hold that down. Pump it up. Now that's dispensing that fluid in there. It's got the pressure building up and it's coming down as it's pushing the fluid out. Now we can hear it jumping around there, so we know it's just at the end. We've got the uh, original holes connected back up. And this is the fluid that we're filling now our dispenser with. It's the Wins DPF cleaner. Just that one there. So we've let the uh, fluid just sit for about 20 minutes inside the DPF. Um, now, the longer you have to do that uh, is the better. But 20 minutes, in our experience, is enough time to get to work. So we're going to go with running a static regeneration and that's going to push out the fluid at the same time so that's uh, just a little bit of instructions and telling you what's going to happen okay we've started the engine we need to get the engine temperature up to a minimum of 80 degrees start seeing a lot of smoke coming out of the exhaust pretty soon. Now that's ready we can uh, continue. Okay now that's just starting so we've got about 3,000 seconds to uh, wait for this to finish. So I'm not accelerating it there, it's doing that on its own. And uh, so we'll have to wait 20 minutes or so for this to finish. Just taking it for a test drive. And all is well, so that's the job complete.